Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Agent of Days. Thank you, our Lord and our Father and our God and our Redeemer. Father, we thank you. We are your children. Come and have your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Come and take total charge of the prayer line tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. We are thanking you in advance for what you are going to do tonight. For we know that it shall be wonderful in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we glorify you, Papa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Agent of Days. Thank you, Mighty Man in Battle. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Holy Father, even this moment, we ask you to forgive us our sins in all forms, that we have offended you, O God. Wash us with your precious blood. In the name of Jesus. And Father, also, we are pleading with you to send forth your blood over everyone tonight, over the four pillars of the prayer line tonight, over the instrument that you, are, you shall use tonight to minister to us, over the network that we shall use in the course of this prayer meeting tonight, over the technicalities and every technical organisms that you shall use tonight. Father, have your way in the name of Jesus. Even the air that we breathe in tonight, we are saturating them with the blood of Jesus. We are consecrating them with the blood of Jesus. We are blessing them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Papa. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We decree that no weapon formed against us tonight shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We we'll begin to remember the people that are yet to join the prayer line in prayer now. Many of them forget. Many of them even think that we don't meet today. But let us begin to pray that the Holy Spirit shall remind them that we have an appointment with Him tonight. Let us begin to pray that the Lord shall send His angels to go and touch them. Remind them in the name of Jesus that there is Jesus waiting for all them this night. In the name of Jesus, we we'll cover every one of them with the blood of Jesus. Even those of us that are here already, we are soaking everyone with the blood of Jesus and we are decreeing tonight that no power of the enemy shall ever attack us in any form. In the name of Jesus, we ask the Lord to build a wall of fire around us tonight, according to Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let your angels of power, angels of anointing, angels of breakthrough and deliverance and liberation begin to come down. Angels that make people possess their possessions will begin to invite such calibers of angels. Let such wonderful angels begin to come down tonight and begin to be with us because this night shall be called a wonderful night because somebody is going to receive a wonderful blessing in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Our God is a wonderful God. The Bible says that his name is, uh, he shall be called a wonderful God. He shall be called wonderful. Oh, Jesus. Father, we are joining the host of angels and saints in heaven to declare that you are a wonderful God. Be glorified tonight in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We cover every nook and cranny of the prayer line with the blood of Jesus. We ask the Holy Spirit to give us wonderful inspiration for this night's message. Let the Holy Spirit take over the prayer line tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit direct us tonight. Holy Father, we can do nothing without you. Holy Father, lead us into your presence so that we shall partner with you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Ancient of Days. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We begin to cover our brother, the instrument that Lord shall use tonight. We we'll cover him with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Yes, my Lord. We we'll cover him with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We we'll cover him with the blood of Jesus. We pray that every part of him shall be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray that his mind, even his subconscious mind, shall be saturated with the Holy Spirit, so that not shall he, never shall he think on his own. But let the Holy Spirit prompt him into every word to say tonight. We are therefore consecrating his mouth, his tongues, and his lips to become instruments of fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we glorify you. Have your way, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Eshadai. 
Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Song. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Save you. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. We are 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 sorry, oh. We are sorry, Lord. Forgive us. Oh, we are sorry, Lord. Oh, Emmanuel. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. Mighty God, we are sorry, O oh Lord, for we have offended you in so many ways. And even as we have gathered tonight to pray, Father, be with us. My brothers and sisters, we are all welcome to the presence of the Holy Spirit tonight. Mm -hmm. This is a special night, very special night, because it is a Friday, and of course the first Friday for the year. So the prayer of tonight is going to be different. It's going to be a prayer structured to prepare us more into the blessings that God has in stock for you and for me tonight. Mm -hmm. I will encourage you that if you know or if you're not sure that your friend is in this prayer line, do that person a favor by sending that person a quick text or to call that person and tell the person to make sure that he or she is in this line tonight. Because what God wrote tonight is like putting a gas in a car that is going on a long journey. Those of us who miss our crossover night, this is an opportunity for you to receive from the Lord because we are getting into a journey of 12 months. So we are using this night prayer to receive that very grace that we need from the Lord, for there's nothing we can do without the Lord. Mm -hmm. So this night I call upon the Holy Spirit to mm -hmm. incubate everyone tonight. Mm -hmm. We ask the Holy Spirit to fill us tonight in an extraordinary way, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We ask the Holy Spirit to sanctify us in a special way tonight, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So this night our Lord is going to move. Our Lord will be going into your families. Our Lord is coming to your streets. In fact, coming to your subdivision. Our Lord is coming to that your address tonight. He knows you by your name. He is coming to bless you. He is coming to touch you. He is coming to tell you that he has a plan for you. As he is moving, don't allow him to pass you by. Mm -hmm. Jesus, that is why you are called. Jehovah, that is why you are called Jehovah, Papa, what you say you will do, Father, that is what you will do, that is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, I think our Lord. That is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, is the Lord. Lord. What you, you say, say you will do. Oh, Lord. That is what you will do. I think God. That is why you are called Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are at the early hours of this prayer, mm -hmm. 
we are asking God to come and be with us, to come and take absolute charge of this prayer. Let His presence, His Shekinah, His eternal light be upon us tonight. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Mm. As we get into different segments of this prayer tonight, we are going to talk to God. Mm-hmm. We are going to pour our hearts to the Lord. Mm. The prayer of this night is taking a little different pattern from what we used to do. But the prayer of this night is going to be a prayer that you will never forget because mm. God is coming to touch you. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Yeah, do Thank you, Lord. Oh, Papa, My yeah, brothers and sisters, <laughs> many of us have not had the opportunity even to thank God for the last year. Oh. Many of us were not in the prayer line during the cross of a night. So they didn't hear about the talk, thanking God. Many of us did not even have a cross of a night in any ministry or in any church. Maybe because they were at work or maybe one thing or the other. But this night, those people have the opportunity tonight to thank God for what God has done for them. And even if you had the opportunity to do all these things I've mentioned, now there is no thanksgiving you can give to God that you can say, you have given God overdose. No. You can't give him overdose of thanksgiving. Bye. You cannot even pray too much and say you have prayed too much. Bye. Because there's nothing like praying too much. Bye. And so we're starting the prayer of this night with a segment for thanksgiving. This first segment of the prayer of this night is to thank God. Psalm 9 to 2 Verse 1 to 2 says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to His holy name and to declare His loving kindness in the morning and His faithfulness by night. I want to read again Psalm 92, verse 1 to 2. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness by night. Simply, the Bible is saying that day and night it, we should be thanking God. We thank God in the morning, we thank Him in the day, we thank Him in the night. The psalmist is teaching us how to do this. The psalmist is encouraging us not to just thank Him in the morning and leave the day. But day and night we shall give Him thanks for He made both the day. And he made the night. And so according to Psalm 34, verse 1 to 6, we are going to say, Father, I thank you for keeping me, for keeping my family, and all that pertain to me. Father, I thank you. Yes, yes. According to Psalm 34, verse 1 to 6, Father, I thank you. Do I begin to thank him for keeping you to see this year. Thank him, thank him for seeing you through, for preserving your family. Thank him, thank him. Thank Him for His God. Thank Him for keeping you in the name of Jesus. Thank Him for keeping all that pertain to you, all that pertain to you. God has been making that in His focus. He has been making you the apple of His eyes. According to Psalm 17, verse 8, in the name of Jesus, Holy Father, we thank you. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, in Job chapter 33, verse 18. Thank you, O Lord, for bringing me into this year. <laughs> hey, oh Jesus. Yes, the Bible says in Psalm 33, verse 18. In Job chapter 33, verse 18. He that keepeth his soul from the pit, his life from perishing by the sword. Do you hear what the Bible is saying? The Lord keeps you, keeps your soul from the pit. There are people that their souls, their lives, have entered into the pit. But the Lord has preserved your soul not to get into the pit. He has preserved your life from perishing by the sword. I don't need to remind you, there are people whose lives have already perished by the sword. But the Lord said no to you. He said no to your own. Don't begin to thank him for that. Don't begin to thank him for that. Jesus, Job chapter 3 verse 18, he that he, he keeps back his, his soul from the pit, his life from perishing by the sword. Do I begin to thank him? Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You didn't allow me to perish. You didn't allow me 
to be destroyed by the powers of the enemies. Father, we thank you. God begin to thank him. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. According to Psalm 16, verse 5 to 6, we thank God for keeping us as in all our ways since this year began. <laughs> Yes, since the year began, he has been protecting us till this second day of the year. Even since last year, even from the time, our, even when we were in our mother's wombs, he was there protecting you and me. Don't begin to thank him. Thank you, Father, for keeping me. For yes, Lord, for keeping me ever since my life. You have been keeping me. Jesus, pray now, pray now, pray now. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Don't get tired, don't get tired. Thank him now, thank him now. Our Lord is wonderful. Our Lord is powerful. Jesus, I will thank you forever. I will thank you forever. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. My people, as I begin to thank him, as I begin to thank him, don't get tired, don't get tired. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. The Bible says in Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22, and it says, It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion faileth not. <laughs> it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion faileth not. Let me tell you, there are people that have been consumed. Oh, but the Lord did not allow you to be consumed. He did not allow us to be consumed because his compassion does not fail. He, man fell it, but not God. Remember Numbers 23, verse 19. He said, I am not man that fell it. Oh, Jesus. I am not man that lied. That is Jesus talking to you. Well, I begin to thank him now. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Jesus. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, begin to thank him now. Don't get tired, don't get tired. You cannot thank him enough. Father, we are thanking you for the wonders you have done in the life of your people. Papa, we thank you. Yes, my people, let us thank him now. Offer him thanksgiving. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 and 28, it says, let us be thankful and so worship him. Let us be thankful and so worship him. Yes, yes. This tells you that thanksgiving is a form of worship. As you are giving that thanksgiving, you are worshiping him tonight. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10 says, yes, say yes to the righteous that it shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. <laughs> hey! Woo! Jesus! I am Basherema. The Bible says, as I told verse 10, that it shall be well with me in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. I claim it now. It shall be well with me in the name of Jesus. And I shall eat the fruit of my life. I shall not waste my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, pray, my prayer, prayer. Oh, pray, my prayer, prayer. Thank you, God, because all is well with me. All will be well with me this year. Thank you, Jesus. I am thanking you, Papa. Jesus, because all will be well with me. It is the name of Jesus. I just want to tell you that it is well with you. Don't begin to pray now and say it is well with me. It is well with me. Hey, hey. According to Isaiah chapter 3, 10, it is well with me. In the name of Jesus, I am not waiting for somebody to tell me that it is well with me. This night, I am telling myself, I am looking myself in the mirror, eyeball to eyeball, and I am saying to Wakwe, listen, it is well with you. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> yes, no tragedy will come my life this year. In the name of Jesus. I have no room for tragedy. In the name of Jesus. Open my mouth and pray. Begin to thank him now. Jesus. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Begin to thank him now. The Lord is good. The Lord is wonderful. Our God is powerful. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Begin to thank him now. Begin to thank him now for the plans he has for you. Begin to thank him now for the things he's going to do this year for you. This is a very good opportunity you have to thank him. For he is our God. He is a mighty God. He is a king of glory. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not see it? 
I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Oh, Jesus. Father, thank you. Yes, my Lord. Find out that this year, this year, something new is coming to me. New miracle, new favor is coming to me. New anointing, new promotion is coming to me. Jesus, pray now, pray now. Something new, something new, something new. Hey, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Behold, I will do something new. That is the voice of the Lord for somebody. The Lord said, I will do something new. Begin to claim it now. And begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Father, I thank you. For I believe your word in Isaiah 43 verse 19. That you told me, and you are telling me, and you continue to tell me that something new is coming my way. That you are going to do something new. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to have a new life. In the name of Jesus. I am going to have a new good health. In the name of Jesus. Something new. Something new. A new joy. A new garment of joy. Garment of praise. Something that will make me to praise God is coming to me. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, it shall come to pass. It is already springing forth. It is already germinating. He's ours. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. He said, I will make a way for you in the wilderness. Begin to thank him now. For even when there is no way, the Lord is making a way. This year, the Lord is making a way for me. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray a prayer. Begin to pray a prayer. Something new, something new. Jesus. The Lord is making a way for me. And I'm thanking him in advance. I am thanking him in advance. Because he's giving me something new. He's giving me a new prayer pattern. He's giving me a new prayer for a new powerful prayer anointing. He's giving me a new grace in the name of Jesus. He is making me to have breakthroughs this year. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, yeah, thank him, thank him. I will thank him forever. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank him now. Thank you, God, for what you are going to do in my life this year. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be powerful. Oh, Papa, we thank you. Jesus, my people, continue to thank him. Don't get tired, don't get tired. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. And the Bible says in Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7, let the people praise thee, O Lord. Let all the people praise thee. Yes, Jesus. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and the God, even our own God, shall bless us. And God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Hey, hey. Oh, Jesus. Father, I'm thanking you. For in Psalm 67, verse 7, you are talking to me about a glorious future, a wonderful future, a pleasant future, a future that has been blessed. Oh, Papa, we thank you. I thank you, Lord. In Numbers 20, 31, verse 49, the Bible says, We counted and no one is missing. This year, this year, this year, hey, my family number will not decrease. Yes, at the end of this year, I will do counting of every head in my family, and uh, we shall either increase or we will remain not the same number in the name of Jesus. For those who are believing God, for children, they shall be increased in the name of Jesus. But anything concerning degrees, we cancel in the name of Jesus. For number 12 verse 49 says, we counted and no one is missing. I'm so sorry for my family. In the name of Jesus, begin to thank him now. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Because he has done it. He has done it for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Saint of Days, for giving me a glorious future. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Saint of Days. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Daddy. In the name of Jesus. Father, we appreciate you. In Jesus. My name we pray. Amen. 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 Song. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Jehovah Almighty, we thank you, Jehovah. We thank you, Messiah. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. 
thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. Father, we thank you. I just want you to begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate him. You cannot thank him enough. Our God is the King of glory. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My dear brothers and sisters, the second segment of this prayer tonight is to pour our hearts to the Lord and ask the Lord to forgive the whole world. Let him forgive the nations. A lot of things are going wrong in the world today. But we are going to ask God to be merciful. We are going to cry to him. Yes, at the beginning of the prayer, we had a short segment of prayer for forgiveness. But now we are getting deeper. Because we have gone into atrocity so much. A lot of evil you cannot even think of or even imagine is taking place in the world today. It may dishearten you to hear that even the youth, the young men, if you see the way many are joining into a court kingdom, especially in third world countries, you wouldn't believe it. And you keep wondering why why are churches increasing and the people are doing getting into occultism. But tonight we're going to pray and say, God forgive, forgive and have mercy. Be merciful. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter twenty eight, verse thirteen, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But wh- whoever confesses and forsakes his sin, <laughs> them shall have mercy. My dear people of God, we have to ask God to, to show us mercy. According to Psalm 51 verse 1, we are repenting of our sins. Yes, repent of our sins. We are repenting of our sins. We are asking God to be merciful to us. We are asking him to have mercy on us according to a loving kindness. According to the multitude of eternal mercies. Yes, Father, forgive us, O Lord. Forgive the nations. All the kidnappers, people that are kidnapping people, Father, we are praying for the forgiveness of their sins. Father, we are also praying for their repentance. People that are practicing occultism. Father, we are praying for the forgiveness of their sins. And at the same time, we are praying for their repentance. In the name of Jesus. People mm-hmm. that are persecuting Christians. Father, we are asking both for forgiveness of their sins and for their repentance. We open them out and pray. It's us. People who say there is no God. They eat it. Father, we are praying for the forgiveness of their sins. And also pray for the, for them to repent in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus. We are praying for all the Muslim fundamentalists, the suicide bombers, the people that are fighting Christians, bombing churches, destroying lives. Oh people that are fabricating evil in high places. Oh Jesus. Father arise. Father arise and show mercy to our people. Father we are asking for mercy. Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I love to show mercy. I love to show mercy. We have offended him. Oh, Jesus. We are sorry, Lord. Oh. We, we are, are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, we are sorry, Lord. committed at international level. Mm. Father, we are pleading with you to have mercy and to forgive. Forgive nations. Forgive presidents, prime ministers. Forgive those who are administering the leadership of, a na- of nations. Father, please, we are asking you to forgive. People who are busy designing how to create people at large scale. To people who are formulating rules or laws that are inimical to human existence. Father, we are praying for forgiveness 
We are praying that they repent, Father. You told her that you do not desire the death of a sinner, but to see a sinner repent. Father, we are praying. Prayer of forgiveness for the whole world. Father, we are pleading with you. Who can show us mercy if not you? Who can forgive us our sins if not you? Father, according to Psalm 51, verse 1 to 2, we ask you to forgive and to cleanse all our sins, O Lord. Who can show mercy if not you? Oh, Jesus. Papa. Oh. According to ne Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 4 to 7, we ask you for forgiveness of our sins, the sins of our family members, the sins of the people around us, even the sins of our places of work. Father, we ask you to forgive. Father, Lord, help us. Father, forgive us. Jesus. Jesus. Father, be merciful. Father, be merciful. Who can do this if not you? The sins of America. Father, forgive. The sins of Africa as a continent. Father, we have asked you to forgive. All the continents of the world. Father, we are bringing them before you. Father, be merciful. Oh, we are asking you to show mercy to the land. According to Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Father, that is where we are hanging on this prayer this night. And we ask you to forgive and to cleanse our, our sins. The sins committed in the land. Oh, Jesus. Even the sins committed in the city where we live. In the city where we dwell. Father, be merciful. Jesus. Be merciful unto your children. Be merciful unto your children. Father, be merciful. Be merciful. Be merciful unto your children. Father, be merciful. Be merciful. Holy Father, we thank you because only you that can do this, only you that can show this mercy. Father, we ask for forgiveness and cleansing of all the sins committed by members of the prayer line. The sins of committed as a group, as a body, Father, be merciful. As individuals, Father, be merciful. Oh, Jesus, be merciful to us, O oh Lord. The sins committed in the churches by their leaders, by church members, by parishioners, Father, we are pleading with you tonight. Be merciful. Let these things not bring barrier to us receiving from you tonight. Because this year, Father, we want to receive from you. And we don't want to give sin the opportunity to become a barrier to our receiving from you. Therefore, Father, be merciful. Father, be merciful. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Show mercy. Show mercy. Show mercy, Papa. Papa, we don't have any other hope outside you. In Psalm 103, verse 3, you told us that you are the one who will forgive us our sins and who will heal our diseases. And in Psalm 130, verse 3, you told us that if you mark our iniquities, nobody shall stand. So, Father, be merciful to us. Father, be merciful. In Psalm 81, verse 13, the Bible says, Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. Father, this night, even as we are praying now, through this forgiveness of sins, Father, we are pleading with you to streamline our ways, to make us to hearken unto you, to walk in your ways, not in our own ways. For we know that your own way will lead to life, but our own ways lead to death. Father, oh Lord, this year, we want to walk steadfastly on you. We want to walk towards you. We don't want to deviate, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Father, we thank you. You remain our God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Papa, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. The sins committed by corporations. Father, we ask you to forgive. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Papa. Be merciful, Papa. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that God will always forgive the sins of your children. And Father, we know that even this night, you will do it again. In the name of Jesus, Papa be merciful. Papa be merciful. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Luke chapter 1 verse 50, 
and his mercy is on them. They fear him from generation to generation. <laughs> Father, we know that from generation to generation, your mercy is upon those that fear your name. Therefore, Father, be merciful to us, for we fear your name. For we know that you are our God. Father, be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Song. He was the great to follow. Abundant grace to follow. He was the great to follow Jesus. Your grace is enough for us. He was the great to follow Father. Abundant grace to follow. He was the great to follow. Thank you, Jesus. And that brings us to the third segment of this prayer. In this third segment, we are taking our reflection from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. And the Bible says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now, it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. My brothers and sisters, at this point, we are going to pray. I say, Lord, Father, do anything in my life, in my family, in my destiny this year, in the name of Jesus. Something new. Yes, something that will make me to rejoice. Let it come my way this year, in the name of Jesus. Let no disaster Come to my way this year. Something good, something new, something that will make me to be celebrated. Father, let you come my way this year. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, prayer, 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 prayer. Call upon him now. The Lord will do it to the glory of his name. He is the Lord that will make new things. Yes, he cannot run out of ideas. Our Lord will always bring something new for his people. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible says in Joshua chapter 21, verse 45, They fell not out of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. <laughs> yes. That thing that the Lord has spoken concerning you, it is bound to come to pass. Yes, Lord. It is a bound. That promise that God has made for you is going to come to pass to the glory of his name. In the name of Jesus. It's ours. Yes, 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 yes. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Not the will of the enemies, but the will of God. Not one of all the promises of God to Israel failed. That's what the Bible said in Joshua to, for chapter 21, verse 45. It said, not one, not one, not even one, <laughs> not one of the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. <laughs> the Bible said it, and I believe it. And so tonight, we are decreeing that all God's promises for me this year, even the promises he made for me in the years past, it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Hey, hey. Oh, put a matter for that prayer. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My Lord and my Father. Yes, I am believing you for the promises you have for me. The promises you have made. Father, I am believing you for them. I know they shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. I know they shall come to pass. For your word is set fast. In the name of Jesus. Begin to claim it now. Begin to declare it now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. 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 Pray, 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 pray. The Lord will not fail his people. In the name of Jesus. Our God is reliable. Our God is faithful. In the name of Jesus. Whatever thing he has said, that he will do. Whatever thing he has said, that he will do. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. Not one of the Lord's good promises to Israel ever failed. Everyone is fulfilled. 
So shall it be for me. In the name of Jesus. 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 Pray, 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 pray. He shall do whatever he say we do. He shall do whatever he say we do. He shall do. Can I sing, sing a minute for the sing that song? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He shall do whatever he says he will do. He shall do whatever he says he will do. My lovely do whatever he says he will do. He shall do it in your life. He shall do whatever he says he will do. My Lord will do whatever he says he will do. He shall do whatever he says he will do. He shall do it in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord will never fail. He is a liable God. We trust in him now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. He will fulfill it. I say we fulfill it because Amen. he is God. He is reliable. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Father, we glorify you. You remain at our Lord. You remain at our Father. You are our Daddy. You are our Papa. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the Bible says in Hebrew chapter 10, verse 9a, Here I am. I have come to do your will. That is the, the servant of the Lord declaring his stand to the Lord. And we are praying tonight and say, Lord, here I am to do your will this year. Hey, I will not do my will this year. It is your will. Papa, help me to fulfill it. Papa, help me. Ask him to help you. Open your mouth and pray now. Ask him to help you. Yes, yeah, so that you will remain in the circle of God's will this year. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, help me. Papa, help me. Let me dwell in the circle of your will. Let me dwell in the circle of your will. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Call upon Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. I want to dwell in the circle of your will. I want to be where you want me to be. In the name of Jesus. I don't want to be found outside your will. Oh, Papa, help me. Papa, help me. Jesus. Jesus. When you, you want to bless me this year, Father, let me be where you are expecting me to be. In the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 81, verse 13, the Bible says, Oh, that my people may hearken unto me, and the Israel may walk in, in the ways of the Lord. Father, let it be so this year, that I shall walk in your ways, not in my ways, to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We want to follow you. We want to follow your ways. We want to listen to you. Teach my ears how to listen to you. Teach my eyes how to see you. Teach my mouth how to praise you. In the name of Jesus. Mm. It's ours. And the Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter 22, verse 24. He says, have faith in God. And Jesus answered. <laughs> Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that which he has spoken, that will come to pass, so shall it be. Verse 24. Therefore I tell you, whatsoever, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. <laughs> this is hmm. Holy Father, help me this year to have strong faith. Let my faith this year be unshakable. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, you cannot please God without faith. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray that this year our faith 
shall become powerful. That our faith shall become strong. That our faith shall be very, very rooted in Christ. That our faith shall be unshakable in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I ask him to give you a very strong faith. Faith. Faith in God is ours. Open your mouth and pray a prayer. Call upon him. Call upon him. My Lord and my Father. Ah, Father, help me to acquire this year, to demonstrate the faith of Abraham. No matter the situation, may I never shake in the name of Jesus. Give me, Father, unshakable faith. Unshakable faith. So that when I pray, I know it is done. Because I know it is settled. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Father, baptize me with a strong faith. In the name of Jesus. I'm also praying for grace. Father, give me the grace. The grace to follow you. The grace to remain in you. The grace to be steadfast. Never to waver. Let my faith not waver this year. Father, give me steadfast faith. Steadfast faith. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me the grace, O oh Lord. Yes, the grace to follow you. Give me the grace to follow. Yes, my Lord, I need that grace. I cannot follow you on my own. Grace to follow. Give us the grace to follow. Your grace is enough for us. We need the grace to follow, my Lord. Upon that grace to follow. Give us the grace to follow. Your grace is enough for us. Your grace is sufficient for me. Your grace is what we are crying for. <clears throat> Father, answer. Father, baptize us with your grace. Father, fill us with your grace. Father, surround us with your grace. For your grace is wonderful. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We cover ourselves once more with the blood of Jesus. This year I shall dwell in the atmosphere of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 10, Say, I will come and do for you all the good things I have promised. <laughs> I will come and do for you all the good things I have promised. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Father, you are not a promise and fair God. Mm-hmm. Papa, fulfill your good promises, your good purposes in me. In the name of Jesus. Let it be fulfilled in my life, O oh Lord. For only you that can do this. Father, come and answer. Jesus. Only you, only you. Only, only you are God. God. Yes, only, only him can do that. Only you, only you are God. Only you, only you are God. Only only you, only you, only you are God. Only you, only you, only you are God. 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 Father, we continue to trust in you. You are mighty God. Father, your word in Psalm 85, verse 6 says, Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? (laughs) Oh, Father, we know that revival comes from you. Life comes from you. Hope comes from you. Everything good coming from you, Papa. Father, revive your people again. <laughs> Many people are laughing at your people. Father, come and revive us again. So that people will see what you have done. And then they believe that truly we are serving the living God. Will you not revive us again? That your people may rejoice in you. Father, that was the petition, the, the appeal of, your, of the psalmist in Psalm 85 verse 6. Father, come and revive us again. Give us every reason to rejoice. 
again. Papa, when the enemies are questioning us and laughing at us, questioning us, what is your God? Father, answer by demonstrating your miracles again in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's ours. The Bible says in Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1 to 3, Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us again. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will restore us, that we may live in his presence. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, this was the agonizing prayer of the people of God when it was as if God had forsaken them. When they were praying for certain issues, and it appeared as if God had turned their, his back to them on them. But God eventually answered them. For surely, as the sun rises, so shall the Lord come and vindicate his people. Maybe you have been asking questions. God, when will you return to me? God, you have allowed me to be turned into pieces. God, will you not heal me? God, are you not seeing my wounds? Are you not seeing all the injustice being done against me? Father, are you not seeing all these things? The Lord is saying, after two days, I will revive you. Mm -hmm. Hosea chapter, two verse, chapter 6, verse 2. And he said, and on the third day, I will restore you. And uh, my presence will be with you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Father, as you have spoken it in Hosea chapter 6, verse 1 to 3, so shall it be upon your people tonight, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let it be so that in the course of this year, Father, all our wounds shall be bandaged so that your people shall not carry wounds from January to December. Father, bandage the wounds again. For this is your word. Oh, Jesus. Revive us again. Restore us again. So that we shall be full of power. So that we shall be full of fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, for them that have been denied justice, Father, bring justice. In the name of Jesus. Amen. People who have been injured, Father, bind up their wounds. Papa, people that the enemies have turned them into pieces, like lions. Father, I pray that you restore them. That you visit them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Mighty Amen. Father, we are remembering your word in Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 2. And your word says, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds, Lord. Repeat them in our day, in our own time. Make them known. <laughs> oh, Jesus. In our own time, make your word known. You did it in the time of Abraham, in the time of Isaac, even in the time of Jeremiah. Father, you did mighty things there. In the time of Moses, you made the Red Sea to sort of flow. In the time of a man like Joshua, you made the, rest, the even the barrier, the wall of Jericho to fall. Father, we hear the account of the scripture. What you did in the ancient times. Father, we believe. And now we want to see in our own time that you are the God who changes not by coming to demonstrate the same power of yours in our own time. Remember your word, O oh God, in Psalm 77 verse 14. And you told us that I am the Lord that demonstrates my wondrous works. Among my people. Father, come and demonstrate your work again. Come and show us your presence again. Come and vindicate us, O oh Lord. This year, O oh Lord, let there be victories. Let there be breakthroughs. Let there be favor. Father, sanctify our people. Repeat what you have done in the time of the old. In our own time. For this was the petition of Habakkuk. In Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2. Father, repeat them in our own time. In the name of Jesus. Father, arise. Fight the battle of your people. 
Come and make way for us where there is no way. To the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You told us in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 18. Surely there is a future. And your hope will not be cut off. This year, this year, this year. Yes, my hope will not be cut off this year. Open your mouth and pray a prayer. Open your mouth and pray a prayer. This year, my hope will not be cut off. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray now. Call upon Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. This year, this year, this year. Hey, hey. My hope will not be cut off. In the name of Jesus. I will not be confused this year. I will not dwell in darkness this year. My future is in Christ this year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. My future shall not be arrested by the powers of hell this year. In the name of Jesus. Any plan of occult kingdom this year is not for me. In the name of Jesus. Because my future is in Christ. My life is in Christ. I am hidden with the Christ in God. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. My future is hidden with the Christ in God. In the name of Jesus. My children, they are hidden with the Christ in God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. The Bible says, I know the plan I have for you, declares the Lord. Plan to prosper. Plan to prosper you, not to harm you. Plan to give you hope and a future. You can see the Bible saying that God has a plan to give you a future, to give you hope. The same thing he said in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 19. He said, surely there shall be a future, and your hope shall not be cut off. Your hope shall not be dashed away. Open your mouth and pray. This year, 2015, there is no kingdom of darkness that will arrest my future. They cannot thwart my future. They cannot paralyze my glory. They cannot destroy my family. They cannot destroy my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray prayer. Open your mouth and pray prayer. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. The Lord will answer. The Lord will answer. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Holy Father, fulfill your good purpose in my city, in my nation, in my family. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus, pray that all souls, let all souls be saved. This year, this year, let souls be saved. Let people be saved. Let people repent. In the name of Jesus. Let people give their life to Christ. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Let people give their life to Christ. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray a prayer. Open your mouth and pray a prayer. In the name of Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now. The power of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Pray there shall be a wave. A wave of repentance. Let there be a wave of repentance this year. Something that will make people to repent in millions. Something that will make people to repent in millions. Anointing that will flow. That will make people to repent in millions this year. In millions, in millions. There is nothing that our God cannot do. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon Him, call upon Him, call upon Him. The Lord is going to answer. Pray for repentance of souls. Jesus, pray, 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 pray for the repentance of souls. The Lord will answer. The Lord will answer. Holy Father, let the people repent. Harden the criminals. Harden the criminals. Father, let them repent. Yes, Lord. Lizards, pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, let there be repentance. Large scale repentance. Large scale repentance. Global repentance. Let it begin to happen. What is this year? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Pray now, pray now. Call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord. The Lord will bless you as you pray this prayer. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord make way for people to repent this year. Jesus. Oh, Mashara Baba. Pray, 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 pray. The power of Jesus. Touch your people. Let this year be a year that will register wide scale repentance in the name of Jesus. Let my husband give his love to Christ. Let my wife give her love to Christ. Let my children give their love to Christ in the name of Jesus. Can you pray now? Can you pray 
right now. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. He will answer. He will answer. Large care repentance all over the world. Let it happen globally. Let it happen globally. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to touch men and women all over the world this year. We cover the world, the heart of men, the heart of children, the heart of everyone with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Cover everyone. Cover people now. Give them the grace to repent. To give their life to Christ. In the name of Jesus. 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 Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. The Lord of God is moving. The power of God is moving. Let him sanctify you. Ask him to sanctify you. My Lord and my Father, sanctify me. Sanctify me. This year, Lord, sanctify me. Empower me in a special way. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Song. I will follow you everywhere you go. I will follow you, Jesus, anywhere you go. Any time, anywhere, any day, any I will follow you. Anywhere you go, I will follow you. I will follow you. Anywhere you go, I will follow you. I will follow you. Anywhere you go, anywhere. Whatever place you go, this is our declaration this year. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be your name, O God. In the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you are our God. We want to walk side by side with you this year. We don't want to separate with you. We don't want to separate from you. We know that the moment we separate from you will dry up. Father, we don't want to dry up. For where are the branches of the vine? Holy Father, have your way. Holy Father, restore our fortunes this year. Restore our fortunes this year to the glory of your name. My brothers and sisters, as we are talking about the restoration of fortunes, may we take a quick reflection from Psalm 1 to 6, from verse 1 to 6. And the Bible says, when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, <laughs> we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter. Our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Verse 4. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Mm -hmm. Those who go out weeping, carrying seeds to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying Mm -hmm. sheaves with them. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My people of God, God is passing this message to you, to us this night, because he wants to prepare the year in a special way for us. 
The Lord is talking about restoration of fortunes. Many people have lost their fortunes, lost their blessings, lost their glory. Such people need what, what is called restoration. Maybe a canker worm ate your fortune. Maybe it was a wrong marriage, a wrong business, a wrong career. That may be what the enemy is used to eat your fortune, your glory. But this year, the Lord is speaking to us in Psalm 126. He said there shall be restoration. Restoration. <laughs> that means what you have lost, you shall regain. Mm-hmm. You shall recover. Mm-hmm. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, <laughs> it was like a dream. That was Psalm 1 to see verse 1. When the Lord restored the captivity of Zion, it was like a dream. You see, all this time, years had passed. We have not seen that dream come true. You thought it's over. But when the Lord restores you, it comes like a dream. That was what happened to Sarah. At the age of 90, Sarah thought it was over. But the Lord said, no, it's not over. My brother, my sister, it is not over until the Lord says it is over. For Sarah, it was like a dream. For Elizabeth, it was like a dream. For Hannah, it was like a dream. Because the Lord has come to restore what the enemies have swallowed long ago. This year, we are going to pray and say, Lord, restore the fortunes of my life. <laughs> Many of you know the story of Job. Job lost everything he had. Everything. The only thing remaining for Job was his life. But in Job chapter 42, verse 10, the Bible says that God restored twice the fortunes of Job. God restored the fortunes of Job. So God is going about restoring the fortunes of the people. In Second Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, you see how he restored the fortunes of a man called Jabez. If God would do all these things in the ancient times, do you think he will not do it for you? Do you think he will come to you and pass you by? <laughs> no. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then it became like a dream. And you know what the Bible said again? The Bible said their mouths their mouth were filled with laughter. Their mouths were filled with laughter. They started to laugh. When the Lord answers you, when the Lord visits you at your point of need, when he comes to visit you at that point of your crisis, there is no way you will start, you will start agonizing. It's not possible. You will start laughing. You will start, joy will come to you. In fact, the Bible said, and their mouths were filled with joy, and their tongues with the songs of joy. Songs of joy. When the Lord delivers his people, they will be happy. They will rejoice. You go and read Exodus chapter 15 verse 1. And the Bible said that when, and, and Moses and the Israel composed a new song. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know why? Because in Exodus chapter 14, they made an obstacle, the Red Sea. They couldn't move forward. Behind them, you see the army of the Pharaoh coming to destroy them. But the Lord made a way for them. The Lord made the sea to stop flowing and they crossed over. Immediately they composed a new song. Not a song that somebody already had already been able to show to the whole world. But a new song. A new song. A song of joy. And the Bible said that they were singing among the nations. I know what they were saying is I want to see verse 2. He said, the Lord has done great things for me. Come and see. <laughs> I remember the song that says, Come and see you. Come and see. Come and see you. Oh, come and see. 
prayed by night and day. As I hear it say all the day long, where is your God? Where is your God? Is that the question they're asking you? And they are crying. But tonight, the message the Lord is saying, in Psalm 143 verse 8, let the morning, yes, the morning bring me the word of your unfailing love. The word of my unfailing love. The Lord is bringing unfailing love for somebody tonight. Psalm 123 verse 1, the Lord is restoring your glory tonight. Ask him to restore your fortune this year. He's ours. Ask him to give you a great recompense, a recompense of joy, a song of joy, a candidate for divine promotion. I am a candidate for divine promotion. He did it for Joseph. Now it's my turn. This is what we're turn. This is ours. This is ours. Pray, 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 pray. This year, this year, promotion is coming away. Promotion, promotions, promotions. You can put S to pluralize it. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Jesus, I shall receive my promotion this year. In the name of Jesus, favor, favor is my name. Favor is my name this year. Hey, hey. favor is my name. That is my name. That is my name. People will see me. They will see favor. Oh. sold him. But in the land where he was supposed to be a slave, the Lord restored him. <laughs> the Lord favored him. Even Pharaoh had to give him a certificate on behalf of the whole nation of Egypt that from today Joseph shall be in charge of everything in my kingdom. That he shall be a prime minister, <laughs> a foreigner. You see what favor can do. So when you want your name to be favor, then it means that there's a plan for you to be in the ruling class. <laughs> favor is coming your way in the name of Jesus. So my people of God, whatever thing that the canker worms have eaten, they must vomit it this year by force by fire. Ah, by force by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. When the Lord will restore your fortunes, then people will see it. The whole nation will see it. If you read Isaiah chapter... Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Isaiah chapter 40. You see where the Bible is saying in verse 4. He said, And the valley shall be exalted. He said that the mountain shall be leveled down. He said that the crooked road shall be straightened up. He said that the rough road shall be smoothened. And then in verse 5, he said that the nations shall see your glory. <laughs> when the nations will see your glory, the kings will come and celebrate with you. The queens will come and celebrate with you. People will like to do business with you. People will like to come and seek your advice. Maybe even including your enemies. Those who have been ridiculing you. When they come, they will see that the Lord has changed your pattern. <laughs> this, is, this year my pattern is changing. My pattern of things are changing this year. I am receiving a divine transformation this year. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh, it's us. It's our one, two, six, verse three. The Bible says that, and the Lord had done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. And the these people went about among all the nations, declaring that, come and see what the Lord had done for me. Even in Job chapter 42, verse 11, the same thing happened. When God restored the fortunes of Job, in Job chapter 42, verse 10, then in verse 11, the Bible says that his brothers and all his sisters and all his neighbors, that they came to eat bread with Job, and they celebrated with Job in his house, and they consoled him, they comforted him, and they were with Job rejoicing. Do you see that? The time that Job was passing through troubles, these people didn't come. They, are left, they left Job in a dung hill, a smelling place, a stinking place. But when God restored Job, everyone wanted to do business with him. People came to his palace. I am prophesying upon you that God Almighty will locate you this year. That he will give you beauty for ashes. Yes, instead of ashes, God will give you beauty. Instead of troubles, he will give you a garment of praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for restoration for you. I pray for change of climate for you. Amen. Jesus. Song of Solomon chapter 2 verse 11 says, The winter is over. We proclaim it tonight. Let the winter be over. The winter of crisis. The winter of poor business. Let it be over. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Restore my fortunes. In the name of Jesus. Every person gathering seeds with tears. Every day you are in tears. Because of what is happening in your family. Because of what is happening in your family. You wake up with tears. You are sleeping. You are waking up to see tears. In the dream, you are in tears. When you are driving to work, you are thinking about a crisis in the home. You are even thinking what you are going to meet in the office. In the office, trouble. In the house, trouble. Even where you want to go and visit your friends, it is trouble. Oh, it appears as if you have been circumvented by troubles. As if you are in the island of troubles. But tonight, this year, we are commanded at Ireland to burn by fire in the name of Jesus. I shall not dwell in the island of troubles. I shall not dwell in the island of tragedy. I shall not dwell in the island of sorrow. I shall not dwell in the name of Jesus. I shall not dwell in the island of tears. It's all my portion. It's all my portion. It's all. The Bible says, Psalm 1 to see verse 5. Those who are going about gathering seeds with tears. Gathering seeds with tears. The Bible says in verse 6, they shall come out with joy. This year, this year, hey, I am coming back with the harvest of joy. I am coming back with the harvest of blessings. I am coming back with the fruits of favor. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare it for your life. Begin to claim it now. In the name of Jesus, this year, this year, ah, I shall receive favor. I shall receive breakthrough. Harvest of joy. Harvest of favor. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Favor is coming my way. This year, this year, in the name of Jesus, I shall have a favor. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This year, I shall be a man of prayer. I shall be a woman of prayer. A woman of prayer. In the name of Jesus. My house shall be called a house of prayer. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is well with me. Thank you, Jesus. My destiny is covered with the blood of Jesus. My family, my life is covered with the blood of Jesus. My nation, my streets, my subdivision is covered with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, fulfill your plan for me. Fulfill, fulfill, fulfill your plan for my life. Father, fulfill to your glory, to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Song. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around for my good. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. See my blessings 
running around for my good. I can see my blessings running around. See my healing running around. See my favor running around for my good. I can see my blessings running around. See everything running around. Running around for my good. I can see something changing in my favor. Things are turning around for me. Things are working around for me just to make sure that the plan of God for me is fulfilled. <laughs> this is I am thanking you for this year that things are going to turn around in my favor. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And that brings us to the fourth segment of this prayer. And we're taking our reflection from Isaiah chapter 49, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 3. And the Bible says, And he said to me, You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Hey, let me repeat again. And he said to me, that is the Lord speaking, You are my Servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Yes. Now, this is very straightforward. The Lord wants to be glorified in the life of the Israelites. And who are the Israelites? You and me. Hmm? So the Lord is saying that He wants to be glorified in your life. The Lord wants to be glorified. <laughs> The powers of hell do not want it, but we don't want their business. We don't even want them to agree with us. Because we have a mandate tonight to be people who will glorify the name of the Lord. So this night, we are going to pray say, Lord, this year, I will live my life glorifying you. Nothing shall steal my glory this year. Nothing shall blanket my glory this year. Nothing. I shall live my life this year glorifying the name of the Lord. Can somebody pray that prayer? Can you pray that prayer? Because the Lord says, you are a royal diadem. You are a royal diadem. In fact, in Hosea chapter Jesus, if you look at Hosea chapter 3 verse 19, and he said, and you shall be, I shall be a spouse to you forever. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon Jesus. Call upon him now. Call upon him now. Ask him to come down. Let him strengthen you. Let him be glorified in you. Ask him to use you. Let him let the Lord be glorified in you. Father, this year be glorified in my life. Jesus. 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 Pray, 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 pray. Pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now. Ask him to be glorified in you. In the name of Jesus. Ask him to be glorified in you. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. The power of Jesus. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. In me, the Lord will be glorified. In me, he shall be glorified. Any power that doesn't want me to be glorifying the Lord this year, I bind and I cancel and I destroy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end, and it will not prove false. Though it lingers, though it tallies, wait for it. It will certainly come, and will not delay. We are praying tonight. May every promise the Lord has given to us, let it come to pass. And may we be... May we wait, be patient enough to wait for the fulfillment of that vision, for the fulfillment of that revelation. The Lord says, for the revelation, I wait for appointed time. During the time of the dream or vision and the, the time of manifestation, is called the waiting time. It's called the waiting time. That's the time that the enemy wants to tell you that you don't have to wait again because the Lord has failed you. But the Lord is telling you tonight, that all the visions, all the blessings, plans he has for you, that they are revealed to you, wait for them. 
for surely it will come to pass. And uh, any of them that is meant to come to pass this year, no power will make me to fail to wait for them. For I must receive in the name of Jesus. Oh, Amen. Jesus. And the Bible says, in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 8, it says, In that day, declared the Lord Almighty, I will break the yoke of their necks, and we tear off their bonds. No longer will foreigners enslave them. Hey. Did you hear that? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 8. In that day, declares the Lord Almighty, I will break the yoke of their necks, and I will tear off their bonds. No longer will foreigners enslave them. <laughs> Jesus. Every foreigner that wants to enslave them. That foreigner may be cancer. <laughs> that foreigner may be bad business. That foreigner may be barrenness. That, there are so many ways that foreigner could come or could be. or It, could, it may take a different identity. But you know what? The Lord is saying, no more. I will break the yoke of their necks. Therefore, <laughs> every yoke on my neck, every rope tied to my neck, every grave cloth tied to my neck, this year, the Bible says, it must break into pieces. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 says, By reason of the anointing oil, the yoke shall be broken. Therefore now, I am called upon Jesus. Let him release his anointing oil that breaks every yoke, so that this moment of prayer, according to Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8, it shall be fulfilled that every yoke on my neck, on my hand, on my legs shall be broken. For the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 40 verse 4, he said, And I, the Lord, shall now break the chains on your wrist. And in Psalm 116, verse 13, he said, Oh, it's us. And I, the Lord Almighty, shall break the chain off your wrist again. That is the promise of the Lord. That is the plan of God to set you free tonight. This year, oh, I will not carry that chain about. I will not carry that bondage about. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 116, verse 16. He said, you have freed me from my chains. Psalm 116, verse 16. You have freed me from my chains this night. The Lord is freeing somebody. The Lord is freeing somebody. Ask him to remember you. Father, come and deliver me. I will not carry this yoke about. I will not carry this barrenness again. It's not for me. Father, come and deliver me. Come and answer me. Jesus. For your word says, Exodus 23, verse 25, I will take sickness away from you. And Exodus 23, verse 26, He said, No, shall barrenness be found in your land. Now I shall have a miscarriage in the land. Oh, Jesus, come and answer me. Who will answer me if not you? Father, Exodus 23, verse 18, Your word says, Suffer not the will to live. Therefore, every witchcraft that have been holding me captive, holding my blessings, get ready to break. Get ready to break, break into pieces, break into pieces, break into pieces in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Lord, my Father, come and answer me. And the Bible says, Mark chapter 15, verse 38, the temple veil will turn into two from top to bottom in the name of Jesus. Every temple veil, every bomb of, bomb of litigation, bomb of trouble, yes, every one of Jericho separating me from my promised land. Preventing me from moving forward this year. We command you to turn to pieces. Let the veil turn to two. In the name of Jesus. My Lord, answer me. For you are my champion. Allah, my Sherebah. Jeremiah 20, verse 11 says, The Lord is with you. The Lord is with me. Like a mighty champion. Oh, Papa, come and answer me. Come and answer me. Jesus, come and fight for me. Yes, my Lord. Psalm 72, verse 14. And the Bible says, He will rescue them from oppression. He will rescue them from oppression and from violence. Father, come and deliver me. Come and rescue me. In the name of Jesus. Yes, from every violence. Rescue me. From every trouble this year. The enemies are packaging for me. Father, come and rescue me. I will not be the trouble that trouble. In the name of Jesus. Arise! Jesus, come and fight for me. Pray now, pray now. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Jeremiah 30, verse 8. And your Lord, Lord says, I will break the chain off your neck. Therefore now, 
every chain on my neck, every chain on my womb, every chain in my leg, every chain in my body, every chain in my eyes, every chain in my life. I command you now, in the name of Jesus, get ready, get ready to break, get ready to break, 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 power. Baba. Hmm. It's us. Let them break, 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 break. Yes, any power holding my children to captivity, every power dragging me to Babylon, dragging my children to Babylon, to keep them in Babylon, I command them now, break in the name of Jesus. Aha! Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Every disease coming against me this year to keep me in bondage, break into pieces. In the name of Jesus, 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 pray, 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 pray. Let Lord deliver you. Let Him deliver you. Jesus, deliver me, Lord, from the hands of evil ones. Father, deliver me. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise, arise, hey, arise. In the name of Jesus, begin to tear them down. Begin to tear them down. Begin to tear them down. Every bond in my life, hey. Let them be broken now. Let them shatter. Let them shatter. Break them, break them, break them. By the power of Jesus. Let them be broken now. Let them shatter now. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Don't get tired, don't get tired. Power, power. Oh, Jesus. The power of Jesus is moving. The power of Jesus is moving. He is coming to deliver you. And the Bible says, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. See, today. I appoint you over nations, over kingdoms, to uproot, to tear down, to destroy, to overthrow, to build, to plant. My people, begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. For the power be given unto you to tear down every satanic encumbrance, every chain of the enemies. Let them be torn down. The Bible says, over the earth, verse 17, on Martin Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be liberation. My people, begin to possess your possessions in the name of Jesus. This year, this year, I am tearing down nations. This year, every demonic power, demonic kingdom fighting me this year. I command them now, in the name of Jesus, be uprooted, be torn down, be destroyed, be overthrown. In the name of Jesus, burn them down. Let them receive fire. Every satanic headquarter, satanic headquarter against me. Let them receive Holy Ghost. Hey. Woo. Jesus, our Lord is moving. The Lord is our warhead. The blood of Jesus is our warhead. For the Bible says, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimonies, we shall overcome the enemies. In the name of Jesus, we claim that tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh, Jesus. Therefore, this moment, call on the Lord to arise for you. Ask Him to arise for you. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, and your enemies be scattered. about this in Psalm 6, verse 1. And we believe it. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 15, 
verse 13 to 14. So then the Lord said to him, Know for certain that for 400 years your descendants will be strangers in a country not their own, and that they will be enslaved and mistreated there. Verse 14, listen. But I will punish the nation they serve as slaves, and afterwards they will come out with great possessions. All these years, you may have been passing through terrible things. For the Israelites, it was 400 years. Can you imagine 400 years in Egypt? Can you imagine 400 years in a foreign country as slaves, strangers? Oh, but Lord said, but I will punish the nation they serve as slaves. And afterwards, they will come out with the great positions. My brothers and sisters, this year, this year, I'm talking about 2015. You see this year? Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. This year, everything that I've been passing through, maybe my grandfather passed through it, my great-great-grandfather passed through it, my father passed through it, but this year it shall terminate. This year it must to terminate in the name of Jesus. It Amen. must end this year. The Lord said it must end this year. The Lord said he was going to punish the nations that have enslaved my lineage, that have enslaved my people, that have enslaved my family for all these years. Oh, Jesus. And he said, afterwards, I will come out to the great harvest. I will come out to the great possessions. I begin to claim it now. This year, and not for great possessions, is falling on me. It's falling on me. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon Jesus. Yes, anointing for great possessions is coming upon me. It's coming upon me. I don't know if you are ready for that prayer. I don't know if you're expecting it. Oh, Jesus. Psalm 5 verse 3 says, Morning by morning, I cry to you, O Lord. Morning by morning, I pray to you. And I wait in expectation. You see this year? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I am expectant this year. I am expectant. You are going to see it. I don't know if you are convinced about this. But for me, I am expectant in the name of Jesus. I am expectant of great possessions, great things, great miracles. They are coming my way. I am going to be extraordinary in prayer this year. Great things shall happen to me in the name of Jesus this year. Mighty things it shall happen to me. Great possessions. This year, 2015, will not pass me by. I will start from this year to get ready for my marriage in the name of Jesus. To get ready for my promotion. In the name of Jesus. To so get ready for my new business. In the name of Jesus. To so get ready for extraordinary prayer life. In the name of Jesus. That will happen this year. I will end this year better than I enter this year. It shall come to pass that way. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Prayer, 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 prayer. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus. Mahakanda Shekereba. Yeah, pray, 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 pray. Let the Lord vindicate you. Let him make a way. In the name of Jesus, 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 pray, 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 pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh, Jesus. So that dream is coming to pass. That's what God is saying. That thing has promised you. He's not going to fail you. He's going to make it to come true. May the Lord bless you from Zion. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 12 verse 41, at the end of the 430 years, to the very day, all the Lord's divisions left Egypt. <laughs> Do you know that you are living in the subdivision of the Lord? <laughs> the Lord's division, that is you. That after 430 years, the Israel, the Israel left Egypt. So shall it be for you also. Mm -hmm. That the Lord will remember you and mm -hmm. see you through in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. In mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, and the Bible says, I am doing a, a new thing and I'm going to bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Psalm 66, verse 12, the Bible says, You let people ride over your head, over our heads. We went through fire and the water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. Hmm. You see, you may pass through fire. The Lord is not promised or is not going to see fire. 
But he said that you're going to pass through the fire. You're not going to be burnt. Remember I said, 47 verse 2. He said, everywhere you pass through the fire, you're not going to be burnt. We pass through the waters, you'll not be drowned. So if the water wants to come, then come. But the Lord said, I'll pass through. I will be with you. He said, the fire, if you want to let it come, but I want to see you through. He said, but the Lord brought us to a place of abundance, to a place of safety, according to Psalm 66, verse 12. Every trouble that the enemies are formulating against me this year, I will jump and pass over. I will jump and pass over. I will escape. That I will not be burnt. I will not be destroyed. Even if other people have been burnt, not for me. Because 10,000 will fall by my right hand. As Psalm 91 says, 10 million by my left hand. But with my eyes, I will see how the Lord will vindicate me. I will see how the Lord will vindicate the righteous. I will see it with my eyes. So, oh, it's ours. Father, we thank you for your glory. In the name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, let 2015 be my year of divine and a supernatural progress. Hey, hey. Are you ready for progress? Pray that prayer now. Divine promotion. Divine supernatural progress. Yes, supernatural progress is my portion this year. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural progress. In the name of Jesus. That is my portion. In the name of Jesus. Claim it now. To the glory of the Lord. Claim it now. Declare it now. Supernatural progress. I am a candidate for divine promotion. Divine supernatural progress. Nothing shall limit me this year. Nothing shall limit me this year. In the name of Jesus. Nothing shall trap me this year. In the name of Jesus. I will move forward this year. In the name of Jesus. I don't know how it will happen. But I know that because the Lord is with me. That I'm going to end well. In the name of Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. Jesus. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Yes, my Lord. In Psalm 102, verse 13. Psalm 102, verse 13. And the Bible says, You will arise and have compassion on Zion. For it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come. Hey! The appointed year has come. A time to show favor to her. A time to show favor to Zion. A time to show favor for Wakwe. I don't know whether you are expecting favor. Declare it now loud and clear. That this year, 2015, according to Psalm 102, verse 13, the Lord shall arise and be compassionate to me. The Lord will show me favor this year. Ah, This year is appointed time. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. The Bible says that at appointed time, the Lord shall make all things beautiful. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. Call on him, call on him. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, let him show me mercy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Psalm, one, Psalm 40, verse 17. The Bible says, I am afflicted and needy. The Lord thinks of me. You are my helper and my deliverer. My God, do not delay. Do not delay, Papa. For everything that we, I will see this year, Father, do not delay to come and see me through. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Every affliction that may be designed or fabricated from satanic factory this year against me and my family, the Lord says, I will deliver you. May the Lord come and deliver me. Jesus, you are my deliverer. You are the one that saves my, your children. Come and deliver me. Jesus. Oh, my helper. Oh, my helper. He's my helper. My helper. Oh, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper, there is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper, my helper, oh, 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 oh my helper, my healer, oh, 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 my healer. There is something that makes me come into your presence. 
something that makes me fall into your presence and my Psalm 54 verse 4. Psalm 54 verse 4 says, Surely God is my helper. <laughs> The Lord is the one who sustains me this year. Lord, be my helper. Send angels in the form of human beings to see me through. Father, do not abandon me. Father, I can do not take without you. I need you, Papa. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Every spirit of fear that want to come and make me to become afraid this year, I reject it. And I abandon it. And I cancel it, for the Lord tells me in Isaiah 41, verse 10, say, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand. Ah, he's us. And the Bible continues, and he said it again. In Isaiah 41, verse 14, he said, Do not be afraid. You warm Jacob. Little Israel, do not fear. For I, the Lord, will help you, declares the Lord. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The Lord is saying, He is going to help you. He is going to see us through. This year, we are not alone. The Lord is with us this year. We are not going to pass through this year alone. Your helper is there. He is going to see you through. Psalm 1 to 1 verse 1 says, where will my help come from? That question is answered in Psalm 1 to 1 verse 2. It says, my help will come from God. My help will come from above. From God, from the maker of heaven and earth. Let him be with you. Let him remain with you. Let him see you through this year. In the name of Jesus. We shall pass through this year with the Lord. And the Lord will see us through. All these and many more we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Song. Great things shall happen when I call on Jesus' name. Oh, something shall happen when I call on Jesus' name. Miracles shall happen when I call on Jesus' name. Oh, yes, something shall happen when I call on Jesus' name. Call on Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Wonder shall happen when, when I call on Jesus the more. Oh, wonder shall happen when I call on Jesus the more. Oh, miracles shall happen oh, when I call on Jesus the more. Oh, miracles shall happen. When I call on Jesus' name, call him Jesus, 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 Jesus. And that brings us to the fifth segment. And we're taking our fifth segment from Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. And the Lord says, Then said the Lord to me, You have well seen. For I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten it. The Lord said, I will hasten my word to perform it. Father, let there be stability in the nations this year. No matter the upheavals, the troubles and crises in the political system, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, let there be stability. Every speed I want to cause crisis, troubles in nations, ethnic crisis and war, and commotions, Father, this year, bring the spirit of stability. Hasten it, O Lord. Father, perform it, O Lord, so that your word in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. This year, we reject loss of lives, loss of property. We cancel it now. We cancel it now. There shall be no loss in the name of Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus, Lord Almighty, oh, Father, avert natural disasters this year. Avert natural disasters. Oh, Father, you can do it. Holy Father, look at what is happening in transportation system these days. Oh, large care loss of life through aeroplane.
complaints, crashes, or troubles here and there. Father, we are praying that you arrest all situation this year. In the name of Jesus. We cover the air, the land, the waters with the blood of Jesus this year. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We decree that all coffee kingdoms shall be disappointed this year. When they want to drink blood, let them drink their own blood. Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, this year, make me faithful. Make me faithful. I want to be faithful to you. Father, help me. Oh, can you pray that prayer? Call up on Jesus. Ask him to help you to be faithful. Papa, help me. Papa cannot do it alone. I need you, Papa. I need you, Daddy. Daddy, I need you. Help me. I promise you in the past that I will not fail you. But before I you know what's happening, I'll fail you again and again. But I'm pleading with you, Papa. This year, help me to be steadfast. Help me to be faithful. Let me to remain the circle of your will. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus. This year, Lord, let, there be, let this year be my year of unlimited lifting, unlimited establishment, unlimited prosperity, unlimited divine announcement, unlimited prayer life, unlimited favor. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Father, this year, let there be a, a, a supernatural surgical oppression in my heart. Taking away my heart and bringing the heart of Jesus into me. I want to have the heart of Jesus this year. Let it be done sup supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Father, help me. Jesus. Heal me this year. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from long standing problems. Deliver me, Lord, from long standing problems to the glory of your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Song. My comforter, Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. I am not alone. I am not alone. Oh, Jesus is my comforter. Savior is my comforter. I am not alone. We are not alone. Comforter, Jesus is a comforter. We are not alone. Thank you, Jesus. And that brings us to the sixth segment of this prayer. And we're taking that reflection from Exodus chapter 33, verse 17. And the Lord says to Moses, I will also do this thing of which you have spoken, for you have found favor in my sight, and I have known you by name. <laughs> this is amazing. Hey, Jesus. I will also do this thing of which you have spoken, for you have found favor in my sight. This year, Father, I want to find favor in your sight. May it be so to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, help me this year. Help us this year to fast and pray like never before. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let our sacrifice of fasting and prayers be greatly rewarded this year. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. let 2015 be our year of new beginnings, of greatness and glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Amen. Jesus. Lord Almighty, hide me in the shadow of your hand this year. In the shadow of the Almighty God. According to Psalm 91 verse 1. Father, divinely protect me and my family and my, and my business. In the name of Jesus. Oh, is us. Father, strengthen us this year. Make me a fire this year. Make me a light to all around me. Use me. To win souls for you this year. Yes. Use me to win souls for you. Use me to bring people to the prayer line this year. Use me, Lord, to glorify your name. For your glory is, is, is to be glorified. Father, take over. Take over my life. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. 
Father, let the kings and the queens stand at attention <laughs> when I come. For I know that you are with me. And because I know that I serve you, therefore I can stand before anyone this year. And you give me wisdom and knowledge and favor. In the name of Jesus. Father, take care of me. Provide for me according to your riches in glory. Provide for all nations, even the nations where hunger is already over the poor place. Father, provide for them. Oh, bring an end to those crises, O oh Lord. Bring solution from your sanctuary in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, agent of days. Blessed be your name, Papa. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Song. Be thou exalted, be thou exalted, O be thou exalted, O Lord. O heaven, adore thee, adore thee, be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou as all O Lord, be thou as all said, be thou as all said, be thou as all said, O Lord. Oh, heaven, adore thee, adore thee, be thou as all said, O And that brings us to the last segment of this prayer, the seventh segment. And we are taking our reflection from Isaiah chapter 49. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25 and 26. And the Bible says, For I will contend with him that contend with you, and I will save your children. Verse 26. And I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh. And the dead shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord. I am your Lord, your Savior, and your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. <laughs> the Lord is fighting for his people. So this year, based on the promises the Lord has given to us, we are... Ask him, Lord, to deliver us from every prey, from the hand of the mighty, every crocodile that wants to kidnap me or swallow me, any big fish that want to swallow me the way they swallowed Jonah. Father, this year let them vomit me. In fact, I can't even swallow me to start with. Father, give me the anointing that will make me to escape their plans. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father. Put to shame every strong man of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Father, deliver. Deliver your people. Yes. Deliver every lawful captive. The captives of the mighty and the prey of the terrible in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. deliver tonight. Deliver them tonight. Father, when the Boko Harams made their plans on how to kidnap people and bomb churches and the Keep people as captives. Father, we are praying that through the prayer this year, you will abort their plans in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your angels begin to kidnap them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we are praying for their repentance. At the same time, let your angels kidnap them and make them to repent by force in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Father Almighty, feed my enemies with their own flesh. According to Isaiah 49, verse 25b. Oh, let them drink their own blood. Let them drink their own blood. Every witch and wizard trying to take my own blood to drink as wine. I reject it. Let my blood be too hot. Let them drink their own. In the name of Jesus. If Amen. it is sweet in their own mouth, let them keep drinking it forever. But not my own blood. Not the blood of my children. Not the blood of my spouse. Not the blood of the, blood of the prayer line. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Father Almighty, let all the world know that you are my Savior, that you are my Redeemer, that you are the mighty one of Israel. According to Isaiah 49, verse 26b, in the name of Jesus, 
Father, answer. Oh, Jesus. Father, cause me to sing songs of everlasting joy. Let me obtain favor from you in a wonderful way. Oh, give me overcomers anointing. Overcomers anointing. So that everything I do this year, with your joy, I shall be an overcomer. Jesus. Hey, this year, gladness is my name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Morning shall not be my portion this year. In the name of Jesus. It shall not be my portion. Yes, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Father Almighty, we are thanking you now. I just want you anywhere you are. Begin to thank the Lord. Say, Father, I thank you that you have heard me this night. That you have heard me. Jesus. The Bible says in John chapter 11, verse 41. So they removed the stone. Then Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Can we join Jesus to say, Father, thank you. For I know you have heard me. Begin to thank him now. Yes, the prayer is coming to an end. It's a time to thank him for what they have done tonight. Jesus, thank him, thank him, thank him. Psalm 66, verse 19 says, But verily, God has heard me. He has attended to my voice. The voice of my prayer. <laughs> Woo! Father, thank you. Thank him, thank him for what he has done for you tonight. He has not allowed us to pray in vain. Oh, hey, should I? That is your name. Father, we glorify you. Jesus. Thank him, thank him, thank him. I am inviting the singing ministry to give us a song of thanksgiving, appreciating God for taking us through these three hours of solid prayers. Oh, Jesus. Papa, we thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes, Lord. tonight in the name of Jesus Amen. we'll bring before you all the pe numerous petitions of your people tonight father we are bringing them before your Eucharistic presence mm -hmm. father touch your people touch the petitions one by one oh Lord let the people know for sure that you are with us here in this prayer line father attend to the petitions to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus Amen. father Lord have your way we are covering these petitions with the blood of Jesus. Okay. Let the Lord attend to them. Yes, in a way that no one can ever explain. Only to see that miracles are taking place. I therefore cover all the petitions, all the people's prayer requests. I declare a sign of the cross over them, and I declare them to be harvested by the angels that are in charge of the prayer of this prayer line, to take them to heaven so that you give, get your favor. I therefore declare the sign of the cross over them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let your petitions receive divine attention instantly in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover the prayers with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.